I can't believe that after two solid days of searching for a World War II soldier, we were in Vietnam all along. Just kidding. How are we doing, everyone? Um, welcome back to the channel and to another Geo Detective, but not just any old Geo Detective. It's another special already. Um, I and you, we all had so much fun um, with the first one. Raphael's great aunt's possibly Paris painting that I want to dive straight back in with another one, keep the ball rolling and have some more fun. Of course, I will be getting back to these guys on the left, uh, the Patreon fan photos because they were great and they are just a very pure form of Geo Detective. and yeah, I'll be getting back to those, but I'm gonna do another one of these and here it is. I showed you a snippet of it last week. It's what seems to be a World War II soldier in the Alps. And I think the key thing is with this one, I think there's an end goal in that we can find it, surely. Unlike the last one, which was just a semi-fabricated place. Uh, you know, it was Paris, but it, it, it had been highly exaggerated and mixed and matched by the artist. Um, thanks to everyone, by the way, who uh, did some of their own detective work and figured that out. We are recording. Um, I'll just quickly recap what happened and then I'll get back to what I was about to say about the new one. So between us all, mainly other people and not me, um, we found out the artist. It was Antoine de Vitti. Um, he's not alive anymore, but he painted many a romantic scene in Paris. One of the ways that we found him or someone else found him was he used this dome building quite a lot in his paintings. That's one of the ways we found out that this was one of his paintings. A couple of you also found a scene in Paris, uh, a spot in Paris by the Pont de la Concorde looking towards the Louvre that highly likely inspired this painting, but not definitely. The reason being the perspectives are wrong, the bridge looks different, this building isn't, isn't there, it's different, and this building here isn't even there, but it could be the Louvre, which is much further away, which is which he's brought a lot closer to us. I know what you're thinking, well, nothing adds up then, does it? A lot did add up with that spot, but just not enough for me to say definitely. And yes, I got the fashion completely wrong. I'm really sorry about that. I said that we had to be pre-1900 because the artist has left out cars. He hasn't put any cars in this uh, painting and he's even put a very old boat in there which totally threw me off so a lot was learned from that I, I know now that with paintings nothing is quite necessarily as it seems and that I must think outside the box in the future but I'm hoping that with this one because it's a photo I can find this place it's possible let's start so where is this soldier from uh, a quick Google will tell us. Uh, I suspect that it's that he's a Nazi. You know, I suspect that it's a German soldier. But let's find out. Standard World War Two German soldier. Okay, that's not an old photo. Uniform. Tropical. Okay, we can ignore the tropical uniforms. Saw something pretty close there, I think. That is, I mean, that is way closer than I could have imagined. Look, you've got this bag here. And below it, you've got the, the camouflage roll. I thought that was a, a German helmet. And God, it looks, this all looks so similar that I don't even think I need to look at French troops or anything. Different helmets. Yeah, very different. And British. Yeah, those round helmets. That is the key, isn't it? Those rounded helmets are quite French and British. And here we have that classic, almost Darth Vader looking appropriately, uh, helmet. So, that's that out the way. 
and that probably took me longer than uh, mo some of you would like, you know, but I'm just, I'm not an expert on these things and I'm being thorough. So next then, um, I think we need to see if we can do some figuring out of what country this is likely to be. Germany, Austria, Switzerland or Italy? Or could it be anywhere else? I mean, it's got to be the Alps for me. I just don't see how it could be anywhere else. And the good thing, of course, is these mountains won't have changed. I mean, they might have grown an inch. I don't know. But I don't think they would have changed pretty much at all. And hopefully this lake as well is um, still very much the same. And, and I think that's the key to our success. Finding this exact spot might be tricky. I mean, this field might now be trees. That might make it a bit tricky. But I still think we can use that Google Earth terrain feature to, to get pretty close. So these mountains, they look like Dolomites, uh, which are northern Italy. But, you know, the dramatic rock stuff. But it could be could easily be any other country, um, you know, Switzerland, Austria. So where were German troops based? I would imagine they were based in all three countries. So let's do it. I'm going to do a bit of Googling now. I'll probably skip a lot of this until I just get the results that I need because it's kind of the boring stuff. I'm just going to try and find out, um, you know, where they were and weren't based, basically. So here goes Google time. Alps. Okay, this is interesting. Straight away, I found the Second Battle of the Alps, and this is actually fighting between German and Italian Social Republic forces. Right, so they're, they're the ones who overthrew Mussolini, right? Oh, I hope I'm right. Um, and the re-established French Republic led by Charles de Gaulle. I had no idea about this Battle of the Alps. But maybe, just maybe, this photo was taken during that. Or maybe if it's not the second one, it'll be the first one. But maybe if we find where this happened... Fran of course it could be in France. Um, but anyway, if we can find where this battle happened and then go into Google Earth and start looking for that lake and those mountains, we could find it. That would be like a first punt. And then if that doesn't work, we can go again. Um, but I like going for that early punt because what if you get it? So the Franco-Italian border, da, 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 da. so whereabouts was this then? Alp Maritimes. No, I don't think we're there. I don't think we're, you know, on the Mediterranean coast here, are we? No. So I'm starting to think already then that the second battle of the Alps, uh, I tell you what, is there a map of all battles in World War II? Map of all battles, World War II. Was there any fighting in Austria during World War II? Okay, I'm just reading about a battle that was going on as the Allied forces came up towards northern Italy. This is quite late on in the war, 1945, and it was this is in the winter as well. So I don't... This isn't winter, there's a flower there. So I, I think we're, I'm, I'm down a dead end here um, for now. Um, but Mont Belvedere, my, my curiosity can't, can't resist just typing this out where was this okay this is this is further down this isn't alpine um, this is later in the war so I don't think this is taken from those later days where the Allies were were coming up through Italy I would say that this is earlier in the war where you've got a German troop just stationed and there's maybe not that much fighting going on Worth exploring that avenue, um, but I think that it might be worth, or at least I want to, start having a quick scan on Google Earth now 
um, in sort of southern Germany. And because I think, I think for a start, it looks like the sun might be in that direction. So that might be roughly south. Maybe I'm kind of wanting to believe that. But I like the idea that we're kind of in southern Germany, you know, Bavaria, the, the furthest reaches of Bavaria down by that um, big castle, that Disney castle, what's it called? Neuschwanstein or something. Yeah, just in these reaches. Um, so I'm just going to have, like, look, there's a lake, you know, and there are big mountains in the background. So I'm going to have a quick search. I can't help myself. Really, I need to look for the lakes. I need to look for the lake first. These are the kind of mountains that we're talking about. So it's going to be a lot of this, I anticipate. Um, lining things up. Seeing if I can find a place that lines up. This is just a, a, a my first go at it because I'm itching to do it, right? I think we're a long way off and this is, you know, going to be a long one. I know it is. Uh, I'll try my best to condense it. But it's just really cool to be able to just be looking at imagery from 2021 to try and locate this scene from World War II. It's pretty cool. I wonder if many people have done this before. The fact that the lake is there is a big reassurance. A big reassurance. Without the lake, I don't know that I would have attempted this, but I think with the lake, I think it's a lot more possible. Right, I think I've sufficiently scoured the south of Germany now. Um, and I don't think it's here. Wait, what about this one? Okay, now that I'm kind of searching the whole of the Alps, which feels a bit uh, silly, I think I'm going to Google um, German military bases, you know, in um, in the Alps in World War II and see if I can narrow it down a bit to certain areas. Yeah. I'm just on a bit of an all-out Google Earth search here. I'm searching Austria. I'm going to just really search Austria, yeah? Because I don't think Nazi troops were actually really based in Switzerland. I don't know. But either way, for now, I'm searching Austria in a big bad way. So hopefully that comes up with the goods. And if I find something that semi-adds up, I'll put a pin down so that I can come back and find it. It's gonna be so good when I find this. I just don't know how long it's gonna take. I should, by the way, mention that this was sent in by Victor from Hungary. I always forget to say something in the intro because I'm conscious of rambling on. But yeah, this was sent in by Victor um, and it doesn't, I guess, have that same um, sentimental meaning uh, as uh, the first one did, Raphael's great aunt, uh, because it's not like it's Victor's great grandfather or something. That would be ideal. If any of you have anything like that, a photo of your grandfather or grandmother, and you would like to know where they are, that, that would be the perfect scenario. But I think this is sufficiently um, a great challenge just to find where this picture was taken for now. So yeah, do send them in if um, you have something great like that and you don't know where it was taken. I'm getting a lot of emails from people sending stuff in, but they already know where it was taken. I'm, I'm after things ideally where we don't know and, and me finding it is the first time. Uh, but anyway, Thank you, Victor. Victor kind of came up with this idea, by the way. He was the first one to email me something along these lines. So thank you, Victor. Anyway, back to it. Oh, 
Oh, fuck you. <coughs> I've searched quite a lot of Austria now. I'm not saying for one minute I've searched all of it. Uh, and bearing in mind, it is quite hard to not go over the places you've already been through. But I've searched a hell of a lot of Austria. Because um, we're obviously not in places like this where it's just huge valleys and not many forests. You know, it's, it seems like we're kind of looking towards big mountains, but from a slightly chilled out section of mountains, you know, smaller mountains, big hills with, with woods on them and some arable, you know, grassland, pasture. So with that in mind, I have searched a lot of Austria now. And I haven't really found a single spot that adds up in Germany or Austria. I've had a little look in Italy. So I think I'm going to move to Switzerland soon. I think that's what I'm going to do. And this, of course, is with limited information about where the troops would have been based. Because I just couldn't really find any good information on it. Albeit not looking that hard. I want to search first, then when things get desperate, then I'll try even harder with the googling. That's the uh, GeoWizard way. Okay, I've done a bit of googling and I actually don't think now, I don't see how German troops could have been in Switzerland because they didn't invade. And if they didn't invade Switzerland, then why would they let them in? What, they can't just wander in. Um, so I'm ruling that out. So with Switzerland ruled out, my increasingly desperate searches expanded to the mountains on the Polish-Slovakian border, into Norway, where I even tried my hand at flower identification, and then to a jagged mountain search, which took me to Zugspitze, Germany's tallest mountain. Is that not adding up now? Man, I don't think it is. It's not, is it? Oh, I thought I had it then, man. Despite being unsuccessful, the Zugspitzer search opened my eyes to the idea of Google searching wooded or beautiful lakes in Austria, which introduced me to lakes and possible locations I hadn't found yet. There's a lot of stuff that I've found now that adds up a bit, looks similar, but just nothing I think that, that is it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've found it. And I'm pretty sure I haven't found it, in fact. Right, I've been through, I think, all the lakes now in Austria that can, could conceivably be it. I'm going to search lakes in Switzerland, even though I don't think Nazi troops would have been in Switzerland, but they might have been. They might have let them through. I can't figure out that detail on Google. They might have said, look, you can use our roads, but you're not invading us. This doesn't count as an invasion. I don't know. After an equally extensive but far less hopeful search of the many lakes of Switzerland, I called off the search once again. Almost ready to quit for the day, I decided to have one more look at the German lakes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's it. That's it. I... I don't believe that. That's... <laughs> that's one of the first lakes I looked at. I friggin' knew it would be in Germany. I knew it. 
Oh my god. Right, okay. I hope I'm right. Am I right? I wonder if there's footage of me looking at that earlier. There must be. Wait, what about this one? Because that is one of the first goddamn lakes I looked at. The problem is, is when you're looking first of all, you're not, well, me, I'm not thorough enough. I have a quick look and all the other possibilities that there could possibly be make me hurry and rush it and not properly look from every perspective and in typical me fashion I've had to come back to one of the first lakes I checked and uh, I think I've found it. Yeah, that, that adds up because this is one of the features I've been looking for is this arm of wood here, this wooded arm which you can just about make out kind of here. You can see the top of the outline there and you can see that the water looks like it's going to go around the back of it which is happening here. Now let's line this up perfectly. You can almost use his gun as a, as a straight line here actually to the point that we are. Um, it's in the very dip of that near hillside going up to that there so it would put us about here but it's it's all forest these days it seems now we're definitely fairly high up it's it's like we're on a we're on a grassy knoll let's have a look if we could be you know be further back at all we be up here okay this might be quite hard to put the pin down actually uh, because of the fact that it's all forested out these days is that Neuschwanstein castle or whatever it's called yeah it's definitely it though isn't it it's definitely it I think I can start to celebrate it's that there that kind of slopey the shape of that hillside there, you can clearly see. I was starting to have these ridiculous doubts, these thoughts that the shapes of the hills on Google Earth today just wouldn't be the same as they were, but of course they are. Um, it's a stupid thought, but you just doubt yourself. And then, of course, this mountain is the same. Uh, you can see up the valley there on the photo, you can see that it's a valley. That bit is so much more defined than the bit behind it. So you can tell you're talking big scales here. And even this near hillside to that one, you can tell that's a fair distance as well. And it is. There's a whole luscious valley in the middle with the river Lech running through it. Right, so it's Germany just on the border of Austria. Yeah, it, make, it makes sense. He's, he's looking out. It over to Austria as if to say I'm gonna defend the Third Reich I'm looking out to see if enemies are entering obviously not literally I mean Austria was part of Germany at that point but anyway let's find the exact spot and it might take a tiny bit of googling here here's some old photos does look like in general the area is has got less trees on it if you look yeah it does and I wonder how old that is 1900 to present that narrows it down but I'm liking the look of the yeah the lack of trees look look at that bit there the shape of that edge it literally hits the same spot on that hillside. You can see that bit there, that line of trees. It's like a curve. If anything, we're slightly to the right. That literally adds up with being here. I'm lining up the, the dip in that hillside there with that. So actually, I think we are at the very castle, the Disney castle that I mentioned earlier on in this video. Can you bloody believe that? 
Can you bloody believe it? Right, okay, old photos of this castle then should... I mean, that one's pretty good. How about this one? Oh, that was painted by Hitler. Okay. Luckily, it doesn't help us anyway. Can you imagine that? If Hitler helped us uh, beyond the grave. That <laughs> anyway, um, don't worry about it. Verity's looking at me like I'm... What the hell is going on over there? Anyway, if we can find... I'm trying to find an old painting uh, of this castle where we can see some grass outside of it as opposed to just trees. See, that's got trees there now, whereas before it didn't. But, as we know, artists can paint things wrong. That seems to have more grass near it, but we can't really go off an artist's uh, depiction of it. I think I'm gonna have to put the marker down very soon. Final thing we can do is try and find this photo online, okay? Um, German soldier, Okay, it's not coming up from the search of the castle with the German soldier. Uh, let's reverse search the image. Waffen SS wallpaper. There it is. A bit worrying that there's so many Waffen SS wallpapers, but we'll just ignore that for now. Um, trying to find if there's any information on this. I really don't think there will be. What the heck? Uh, God, oh! Oh! God knows what I'm going to find on some of these pages, so I won't search anymore, but I can't find... I don't think there's any info on exactly where this was done, so we're going to have to just put a marker down. I think we can do it, and I think I've got to do it just on the, the crest of this hill here. I'm going to say that there was no... Um, trees around this area at one point you know if they want soldiers to move around a bit better maybe this was used as some sort of training area or base who knows um, but everything lines up from that position so that's where I'm gonna put it World War II soldier photo I wonder what year that was taken was it early war was it late war Maybe some of you can find out some more information on it. But there we go. That is my positioning. Um, I'm sorry it took me so long. I mean, no one's more annoyed about it than me. So there you have it, guys. I have pretty much, I think, located the exact spot that this photo of a World War II Nazi soldier was taken. In the deepest south of Germany, near the Austrian border, the mountains are in Austria, but the photo was taken in Germany. And uh, that was a, a surreal, interesting and unique experience. I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. And uh, the next Geo Detective, I think, will be back to the Patreon fan photos. See you there.